So we've got a quick fun video for you lot. Quick history, uh, backstory I should say. We went to Dublin last, two years ago. Two years ago? It was 2019 year. November. Yeah. yeah, so we went with, it was me, Rengin, my mum and my sister and because we're part Irish we've always wanted to go Ireland and part of the trip we went to it, whiskey like tour museum. Yes. And at the where we learned, learned all about the whiskies and you know the differences and how to make it and all that good stuff. And but right at the end we had the taste test. The best the part, part was at yeah. the end where they gave us a selection of like four different whiskies and we were able to tell like taste them and all that. <laughs> yeah. But at the time I was ill, I had a cold so I mm. couldn't taste anything at all and ever since then I wanted to do my own little taste test. I left that I, taste test drunk, you know. I think that's what's going to happen today as well. They give you the tiniest amount, but it does hit you because it's a really strong spirit, obviously. So we've always, well, I've always wanted to do it again properly with, you know, more. Well, we've got a selection of whiskies mm. from all over the world. Mm. So let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> what a slide. Okay. okay, so what do we have here? Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. So this is a bourbon. I've never tried a bourbon before. I'm scared. I, I don't think I have either, you know. Resin by Ren Coasters. Cheers. Oh, how do you even open this? The bottle's really nice though. It's got like thick glass right at the bottom. Mm, it's got that American Eagle, that saloon cowboy vibe. It's, it's, gonna pop. it's not gonna pop, it's not a champagne. Oh. No, but it has okay. a um, corkscrew, that's why I think it's gonna pop. Okay, alright, fair enough. Oh, that smells very strong. Oh, that glug. That's enough! <laughs> Are we taking sips or are we like one shot in? No, you gotta taste it. Well, it's up to you. I might down afterwards. Alright. Well, they told us in the whiskey tour to smell a whiskey, you gotta open your mouth and smell it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> are you already drunk? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's spicy. Oh. I don't know if I like that. Oh, that's got a spice to it. Wasn't it though? It doesn't burn as much as I thought. Oh, I feel warm already. We've got a whole production uh, crew behind. I think they want to have a sip as well. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't like this one. <laughs> it's, it's just so much more stronger than whiskey. I always feel like whiskey has, like, this is bourbon whiskey, but... Yeah, that was, that was spicy. It's not smooth. I don't like the spice. Not for me. <laughs> You go for it. Jameson, it's old Jamie, Jamie. This Irish whiskey, so we had... This is one of the ones that we tasted at the... Dublin. Yeah. The no, not in the tour, we just bought it ourselves in a pub, innit? This is like one of a classic whiskey, you know, everyone has had whiskeys at Jameson's, but I haven't had this in a while. <laughs> Such a glug glug glug, triple distilled. So you can't call Irish whiskey, Irish whiskey. Unless it was made in Ireland. It's, it's the law. Oh yeah, I remember them saying that. That's How'd you say cheers in, in, when in Ireland? How did they say it? Google it. <laughs> Production! <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't begin with an S, I think. Shalante. <laughs> Shalante. <laughs> That's already much better than uh, bourbon. Yeah, I, I knew it. I wouldn't like bourbon, I'm like so quite a strong one, but this one's got Jameson's like a nice smooth. a classic smooth. for a reason, man. Mm. It's Good old Irish whiskey. Like, isn't it bourbon? Why do you keep saying bourbon? Is it bourbon or bourbon? It's probably American bourbon. Is that just, yeah, is that just the is. accent? Bourbon. You sound, it sounds really weird when you guys bourbon, bourbon or bourbon, guys? Bourbon. bourbon, bourbon. I'd say bourbon. I'll say bourbon. It's because we got bourbon biscuits. Bourbon. <laughs> bourbon. Bourbon. So conclusion, bourbon. Irish whiskey is better than bourbon. Yeah, I like this one. 100%. I'm starting to feel warm in the chest already. <sighs> Much nicer. <clears throat> <laughs> this one I'm looking forward to. But I didn't realise how much of a difference there was going to be from that bourbon to the whiskey. I know. I was always yeah, under those ones that are like, oh yeah, all whiskeys taste the same, they all smell the same. But when you have them no. like very close to each other, it's, it's a big clear difference. that's a big difference. So I'm sorry, whiskey. I'm sorry. So yeah. Toki, Toki whiskey. We've had before. We've had this is. Oh, sorry. I, I kind of. My mind went down. This is a taste test, and I'm already feeling a little bit tipsy. Okay. You could already see that the, this one, the color, is so much lighter than the other ones. Look at it. It's yeah. so much clearer. Apparently, Japanese whiskey is like on the up and up. Like they're taking um, 
some Japanese whiskey maker went to Scotland to find out their secrets, started making his own, so apparently it's very similar. Mm. But a lighter, smoother version. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is one of my favourites, I would this say. This one's so nice. It's really nice and smooth, and it's not harsh mm. on the throat either. Mm. It's nice bottle as well, isn't it? Mm. Like, it's something you can have on display, but if someone gets rowdy, you can just like... Do you, have, do you have any stories of uh, rowdy nights out, Jay? Yeah. I know you have a lot. Any you'd want to share? <laughs> I mean, back when I was a kid, not kid, 18, whatever, just drinking whiskey. We used to drink some horrible whiskey. I think it was Bells or something. Mm. And it was so disgusting. It just put me off whiskey for life. And then I think I had Jameson's in the tour in Dublin. Yeah. And it was like, oh, it's not that bad. Good on you. But yeah, yeah, like before, we would have like the like nail varnish, ch cheap whiskies, but this one. More sophisticated. Mm. Yeah, this one does it for me for sure. Japanese whiskey. It's my favorite so far. They're getting better each time. Mm. Wait, so. Chase. Thank you. All right, I got Jack Daniels with a bit of a twist. We've got the honey version mm. before we mix things up. So this is one of a, a family favorite. This is my dad's favorite. Um, unlike Jay, I grew up with whiskey always being like drank in like the house so I'm quite used to the taste but also but, at all your Turkish weddings every single Turkish wedding we've gone to there's yeah. a Jack Daniels on the table yeah it's like I go to like next to the yen and there's a little Jack Daniels there too but this mm. one's in particular is the honey one and what we do in our and like what my dad does is um, he has stro frozen um, strawberries and he uses that instead of like in replacement of the ice basically mm. so you have the strawberry and then once you have your drink that ob like obviously kind of like melts down absorbs all the whiskey too and then at the end like you kind of eat it so it's a little top up for you so you um, eat the, the whiskey infused strawberry yeah whiskey. but they do that for like cocktails and yeah, things don't they yeah it already it like smells much sweeter and that's that honey element that comes through how do you say oh yeah you got cheers first oh. is, what's how do you say cheers in turkey Shedefe. Shedefe. Shedefe, guys. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, I never realised how sweet that was. Yeah. Because we always normally tend to have it quite cold, isn't it? This is a bit oh, like room really temperature sweet. right now, but it's very sweet compared That's to really all like the other thick. ones. Yeah, it's much thicker consistency. Honestly, I didn't realise how much difference there were between whiskies until you start having them back to back. Mm. Okay. Compared to the Suntory, I would say that's much sweeter and it goes down easier. That's the sweetest one out of all of them. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's smooth. Nice. Which one's mm. your favourite so far? Easily Suntory with Turkey whiskey. Oh, well, I don't know. Now that I had a Jack Daniels honey, this could this could be my first one. Is it? First so far. Yeah. Then the Suntory. I know you prefer the Jacks, but I don't know. The Suntory's it's got a place in my heart. A warm Jack's heart. Got some, <laughs> it's just Jack's warm got a place in the Dogan's heart. <laughs> Next. They have apple flavour as well now, no? They have yeah. a few different ones. Yeah. Um, Sorry, apple? Yeah, yeah. I'll put apple flavour. Go on. Last one. Three. So we got some Johnny Walker, Scotch. Okay, what's the difference actually, between Scotch whiskey? So Scotch by bourbon. law, you can't call it Scotch unless it was made in Scotland. Same way with bourbon, bourbon needs to be made in America. Irish whiskey needs to be made in Ireland. It's pretty self-explanatory, but oh. that's the law. And there's certain, like, I think the bourbon, bourbon, I swear, I can keep going through this, <laughs> is made from like 51% corn or something. And that's the legal requirement of it. It's not like a certain amount of whatever you can't call it, oh. a bourbon. Okay. But yeah, scotch. I don't think I've had scotch before. No. Consi I've, I've considering that I like whiskeys, I don't think I've ever had a scotch. I don't think I've so ever tried be either. So what's the differences between these? So they've got different labels. I don't know, yeah. like the gold one obviously is like the fancy one. So I'm Premium. guessing this one's going to be the smoothest. Mm -hmm. The red one's the cheapest. So I'm guessing this one's going to be the roughest. <laughs> and then the black one is like in the middle, I guess, somewhere. All right, should we just start off with the red then? Yeah, red start, label. start off with the dirt and then work our way up. We've had enough of the dirt back in the day. Oh, good. Enough. Oh yeah, that's enough actually. I that's enough. Yeah, that's um, this one. It smells sweet as well. It smells. It? Hmm. Okay. Ah, that's spicy. I did not like that. No, where's my water? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that is grim. 
No wonder it's the cheapest. Nah, that's not for me. I'm not gonna even try that one again. Nah, that's grim. That's like a fireball. No wonder it's got a red label and it's like fire. <laughs> nah. Yeah. It's, it's like an uh, aftertaste of like Damn. nail varnish. Yeah, it's it's the cheapest, cheapest. Cheapest. One. Yeah. yeah, get it out of here. Yeah, that was not nice. That is easily the worst out of all, all of them. them. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker, yeah, they're gonna take you to court. Then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They've got two, two more to redeem themselves. <laughs> it's just like a little taster selection. Yeah. I'm scared now. It's, it has that same smell as the red one. I know. I don't really want to drink it. That's good now. Get it over and done with. <laughs> oh, no, that's not a good reaction. <laughs> it's just the worst. I didn't even drink that because I was watching you. It has a weird aftertaste. I don't know, that this black label is not doing it for me. No, it's giving me flashbacks to <laughs> bad nights out. <laughs> black oh, house. That, is just, that is horrible. Nah, this one's not for me. I did hear that scotch is generally more like spicier and like, not harsher, but... What, it's worse than the bourbon? Oh, I prefer like the bourbon over the... The, yeah, the scotch. Do actually. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, let's get this one off the table as well. Johnny Walker, you've got one more to redeem yourself. Gold label. This is like the, the master blender's reserve. Maybe it's the scotch that we're not seeing. So this one should be not. Yeah, maybe it's just scotch. Oh my god, I've got too much whiskey in me right now. <laughs> okay, last one. Johnny Walker's Gold Reserve. This is supposedly their master blend. So. This better be good because the last two were nail varnish. They, they were slacking, weren't they? I was like, I was the red one. I was expecting it because I knew it's the cheap one, but the black one I thought yeah. would be. Maybe it's just an acquired taste, it's, man. People maybe people like that kind of stuff. And yeah, they, no, of if, course. But for me, like it was stuff, a bit too like, like smoky and. and this one's burn. probably golden. Or are they all like that? I'm kind of forgetting at this point. Yeah, I'm too tipsy to remember. Have you got nothing in yours? I yes, I do. I no, 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 no. no. It's just the smell of it. I don't think I like scotch. I've always mm. had whiskey. Because they do make it slightly differently, you know. You gotta smell it. Have you seen any cheers in me? In what? We've done Turkish, Irish, oh, yeah. English, cheers. Scottish. This, do they have their own way? Google it. <laughs> Production! Shlante. Oh, let's, let's, do, let's do the Vikings way. Yeah, because okay. I've just finished watching Vikings, amazing series. Last season, yeah. Uh, <laughs> skull, skull, skull. <laughs> skull, 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 skull. It's like S K with a weird uh, with the dots on it and an L. Skull, skull. <laughs> it's better than the last two. It, it's much better than the last two as the golden label reserve, but I think for me personally, I don't like scotch. No. It's, an, it's a different taste. But yeah. the thing is... It's it, too smoky. It's got this aftertaste that's, that's just what not it going is. It's down. That's the smokiness. That's, that's like a, a trait for scotch, I think. Oh, well, that's what I'm not liking. I then. think. But um, I think this bottle, if you have a normal size bottle, not a plain sample, <laughs> is like going to be pretty expensive compared to like standard. Mm. I well, know. I mean, if, if, if you're a scotch lover, then I guess it's worth it for you, but I'm gonna have to pass on no, the scotch. No, no. All right, you, you rank them. What was your like favorite? Baby? Okay, so that was our little selection worldwide whiskeys uh, taste test. Mm -hmm. um, I wanna rank them though. Okay, you go first. Okay, well, this one is going right there. This one is going right there. <laughs> Um, this one is going there, there. I think this is too sweet for me. Straight, I can't do this. Maybe if you mix it, we fine, but straight, that's too But then much. this is nice when it's straight. No, it's too sweet for me. I think okay. I'd go with this one before that. Actually, would I put, no. Mm. Oh, would you put that anywhere near this side? <laughs> I don't know, people might get upset because this is a gold label. I'm sorry, Paul. Um, no, this is my list then. I'm happy with that. Okay, what would I'll you change for your... I only make a small adjustment. I think I'm just going to push this down. It's one of the Jamesons. Like that. It is sweet. 
I like the Suntory as a whiskey to have, like, that's not flavoured, but I would say the Jack Daniels I prefer. Oh, and you have to represent Ireland with me. Oh, yeah, but gosh. I have to represent Jack Daniels as well, and I prefer okay, it. So, okay. But I do love the Jameson whiskey. So we're pretty unanimous and with then, the Suntory. That is the smoothest, lightest, is yeah. just very nice, it is. It's your favourite. It is my favourite. Alright, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did like this video, let us know. Maybe we could do some more of different types of alcohol rums and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and if there's any questions that you want us to answer during yeah. it, That'd while taking fun. maybe shots, that would be quite fun. So leave those questions that down below. That sounds dangerous, <laughs> but I'm up for it. Anyway, yeah. we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.